If you like this video, please subscribe and click that little bell for notifications when we release a new video. Please also consider supporting us on Patreon. My friends, welcome to Pull My Focus Adventures in the World of Digital Filmmaking, where we bring you the best inside tips on making great digital films and videos. We've recently hit a milestone of over 10,000 subscribers. And on the way to that number, we've produced over 100 videos for the channel. Keeping all that prior work organized, it's not easy. And we found ourselves looking for a system that would help us keep track of all of our digital assets. Whoa! Let's see, we first looked at Adobe Bridge, but it's not the greatest media asset manager. So we quickly abandoned that idea. And something like Adobe Prelude is mostly for media ingesting and logging. And then we found Kino. <laughs> Kino from Less Pain Software. Huh. I just I just got that. Is a full featured media management program with some extra goodies thrown in for editors and content creators. They're not a sponsor of the channel and we purchased our own copy, but we think it's worth every penny. And we're going to show you why. Flat view hierarchy. One of the coolest features in Kino is called drill down and it's flat view hierarchy. Now, as of this recording, we've recorded about 120 something shows and they exist in 120 different folders on a huge hard drive. Kino lets us view all our B-roll, rushes, stock footage, images, graphics, etc. as thumbnails that are quickly generated. Look, let's take a look. Now let's fire up Kino. We're using version 1.8 as of this recording. And what it is amazing at is allowing us to, okay, so here we are, and here's our drive. Here's our, our uh, pull, pull My Focus collection of stuff. All right, now if I come into Pull My Focus, here are the thumbnails. Now, you may be like, okay, great. It's a thumbnail system with thumbnails, basically. Yeah, but if you look over here, where my workspace is, this is not only just this this folder, but boom, folders within folders, boom, and folders within folders. This is amazing because this allows you to see all the assets in one flat view. And this is what's called flat view hierarchy. So you don't have to go navigating through every folder. As you can see, we have a folder for every show, you know, we're because we're organized like that. Um, and if I choose, I can just jump in one folder and then search things on, on this one folder. So this flat view hierarchy makes finding things amazingly, blazingly fast. Media tagging and search. So the primary reason we're looking for a media management solution is because we've taken tons of stills and videos of lights, cameras and gear that we can reuse in future videos but only if we can find them. Also, some of our actors like Courtney, for example, might need footage that we shot for their reel or may want, or we may want to reuse them in our videos. Kino has some great automatic searchable metadata like video formats, resolution, FPS, etc. But we're able to use the tagging system to tag our assets for whenever, say, Frank needs to find that perfect shot of the Canon C100. We can do this quickly now. Check it out. Here we are, and we've already, as you can see, there's these little tags um, on each thumbnail. And that means we have a tag existing on that on that thumbnail. Um, so if I just, if I come up to my higher level and we separate our, our shows for 50, 50 shows each. So there's, there's 50 shows in this folder. I can come up here and I say, and kind of say, filter to a tag. And uh, we had our awesome, awesome intern, Sierra, go through and she's tagging all the stuff. So let's say I want to find something with, uh, let's say we mentioned Courtney. So let's find something with Courtney. Courtney is tagged in our system. Boom. Every single clip in this folder hierarchy of Courtney. And there she is. Anytime we need her. Now, wait a minute. There's Courtney and there's James. But what if I only want Courtney? So let's do this. Let's add a filter. So we're going to add a filter of another tag tag is tagged as Courtney Schaffer and not tagged as 
James O. Boom. All of a sudden, he's gone. And we just get Courtney. Now, there are other searches that I mentioned before. I can come up and oh, notice I am viewing all videos. I could just view images. And these are just images of Courtney. I can view images. I can view audio. If we have any audio. Now, I'm going to turn up these filters because they're not audio of Courtney. But here's all our audio files. But let's go back to video and images. Or maybe just video. And uh, there are, I'm going to get rid of this filter. So currently, Kaino is searching uh, for anything by name. But, and it's sorting them. So we can say search for anything by, say, frame rate. Or if I come back up to name and I can add a filter, I can say search for any particular resolution. So I can say let's search for anything that's 4K. And there's only one video in here that's 4K because we usually shoot in, in 1080. But you can see the power of this. I can say give me any... Let's, let's filter by video codec, all right? So anything that is shot that we shot in, say, ProRes. Here's ProRes, boom. These are all the ProRes shots that we have in here. So you can see already how powerful this sucker is. You can find anything as long as you put a little bit of work in, you put some tags in, and it also knows all this stuff naturally just from what the media is built on. Built-in media viewer. Kino has a very powerful built-in media viewer. It allows us to get a detailed view of a particular asset for tagging, rating, and other information. One thing I really like is the content tab. Clicking it will show you a thumbnail view of an entire video file. This allows us to see the overall contents of the video without having to scrub all the way through it. Let's see some of these features. So here we are, and if I double click this file, or if I go to this view here, the single uh, kind of single image view, now I can scrub through this video format and it supports tons of video formats. I don't think I've, I don't think I've hit a video format that it didn't recognize. Um, so now what I can do is I can come over to here. Now, if I don't want to scrub through this guy and see what's there, I can just hit the content tab. The content tab will show me a thumbnail view of everything that's inside this, uh, that's in this clip. It's a nice overall glance at it without having to press play and find out. So if you're searching for a particular actor and that actor doesn't show up until later in the scene, you can use this content view and you'll see a thumbnail of that actor. Um, there are also th sub clips and tracks that track information. Um, uh, we'll look at sub clips in a minute, but this is super powerful. This allows us to quickly get through um, our footage if we have to have a, have a more detailed view. Media transcoding and subclips. A wonderful feature that I'm using a bunch in Kino is the ability to transcode video to different formats and create and use subclips. I'm going to come out and let's go to another folder. And uh, okay, now it's generating the thumbnails. Notice it still has tags. It sees all the tags we want. This is a, this is a video I did a long time ago. Um, boy, it seems like a long time ago anyway. Okay, let's grab, I'm gonna grab, uh, say this one. All right, so here's, here I am and I'm doing my thing and I'm whatever. So one thing I can do right now is I can tell Kino to convert this file to any destination format I want. So if this comes as H.264 and I want it and I want to edit with it, I might want to convert it over to ProRes 422. Right? For editing here, they have all these presets for different editing formats. And I, I would want to do ProRes 422 because it's much easier on my editor to scrub through a ProRes file than it is to scrub through uh, compressed and uh, you know uh, uh, H.264 file. Although it's usually fine, but Kino allows you to do all this neat stuff. Now, another great feature is the subclipping capabilities. So imagine this, I scrub through this rough and I find a spot that I really like, right? So I can hit my I key for in and I can drag it all the way to the out point when I move my head like that and go out. And now I can click this little gadget here and then say, create subclip from this selection. And what happens now is I can type best take, right? And I can say, this was really cool and hit okay. And it pops up into this little sub clip area. So what's really cool about this is if I create a bunch of sub clips, let's say I come here 
and I'm shaking my head and I go in, okay, and out. And I do another subclip, create subclip from selection, and I go, okay. Now I have these two subclips. These subclips are searchable. They haven't, they're non-destructive, meaning it didn't create new videos, it just creates subclips for those videos. I can jump to these moments at any point that I want, and they are fully exportable to Final Cut or Adobe Premiere. So once you export these guys, and if I use this little cogwheel, I can say, exp um, I could say send to Adobe Premiere, it will, if the Adobe Premiere Pro is open, it will send this clip with the subclips defined already for you into your editor. And that's huge because it's not wasteful. It's not creating new videos, although you can tell it to create new videos. I can export just these subclips if I want to. The features in this program for, for this kind of data management is insane. Imagine you have someone on the field or you're on the field yourself and you guys are, you're ingesting, you're the data wrangler and you're ingesting all the, the, all the shots and someone marks a circle tape. This one's good. Bring it to your machine. You don't have to have Premiere or anything you can just have Kino. And Kino and Kino, you can start creating your, your assembly almost. You can make subclips of all the cool takes, all the circle takes, put them in here. Oh, and one other feature that I absolutely love is the ability to turn on view camera LUT. You can turn on camera LUTs in here. So if I want to see this as an Arri Alexa Log Cedar 709, I click that and boom. So if you're on the field once again and say your producer is there and they're like, we want to see how it's going to look and you're shooting flat footage, you can just load a LUT into here and say, this is how it will look and you can play it for them. And they go, that's great. And you go, great. In, out, subclip, ready for Final Cut or for Premiere. We haven't even gotten into these features yet, but man, we're excited. So Kino is really a super awesome program if you have a lot of assets, if you have a few assets and you know your asset library is going to grow. We're using this to find things quickly. One other thing I want to show you that's really neat. Now you can go in and you can tag something by right clicking and hitting tags and you can throw in a tag that exists or you can throw in a new tag, all right? But you can also do multiple tags. So if I go to, if I go to edit multiple, now I can set, not only just the tags, I can rate them, add titles and descriptions, which reel of shot on, scene shot, take, angle, camera. You can have like a library of different cameras you do use. Everything is in here to allow you to find your stuff fast, which we really need because now we have a lot of stuff. Now, as of this recording, Kino is $159 to purchase. Now, this price includes one year of software updates. And no, it is not a subscription. You pay once and that's it. And if you want updates beyond the one year mark, you can purchase another year for $79. Otherwise, you have no other costs. This allows you to activate it on two computers. So for now, one for me and one for Frank. Perfect. If you're in a market for an amazing media asset management program, give Kino a try. You can try it for free for 30 days. And like I said before, we bought our package on our own with our own dime. But man, we are happy and we are not looking back. I'll throw a couple of links in the description below for uh, a couple of other YouTube videos, like the one by Larry Jordan, who went more in depth on Kino. You should watch that. And like I, I said, download it 30 days for free. Try it out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out pullmyfocus.tv. Wait a minute. Our brand new layout of pullmyfocus.tv, which is beautiful, at pullmyfocus.tv for the companion articles that go along with these videos and the videos too. Once again, thanks for watching. Keep your assets together. Ooh, that was that was almost bad. Cheers.